thoughts. I know, right? It's so boring and useless at the same time. Hey, uh, don't you think Mr. Wilson looks a bit sad? I think he overheard us talking about science. Mr. Wilson, are you feeling that? Yes, I am. It's just been a long day, that's all. Are you sure, Mr. Wilson? Because we just saw you sad like your science lab was destroyed and you had no one to help. They said it's Mr. Wilson. It's nothing, kids. It's just science is a very fascinating subject and many people in the world are intrigued uh, to learn science and love science. It just affected me that you guys hated science. Hello, sorry for interrupting you, Mr. Wilson. But I would just like to say that you make an excellent point, sir. Many of the discoveries that have been observed and the inventions that have been created till now have all been made using the rules of science and its subjects, such as biology by the many vaccines and antibodies that have been created to act as preventive measures and help humans combat diseases, physics which helps us to better understand how the world really operates. And um, so I do not know what to continue on. Can you assist me in providing information about how science is important in our lives? I sure can, Sid. What Sid said is very informative. Sid is correct. Allow me to delve deeper into the concept of biology. Many doctors and nurses in the world have worked so hard to save so many lives from perishing away, again by the help of vaccines. Many people in this world who are well alive and healthy today are people who have almost lost their lives had it not been for the scientists who made very discoveries in science. You know what? I have something that may change your mind on science and inspire you to do something like what one of our students did, Ria. She made a fascinating presentation on a person in the past who solved the SDG goal number three, good health and well-being. Oh, are you perhaps talking about the presentation on an antibiotic? Um, what was its name again? Ah oh, yes, penicillin, which was discovered by Alexander Fleming, if I'm not wrong. That science guy we learned about last class, that guy. You're absolutely right. Let me just open the file. Hang on for a moment. Alright, here you go. Hello, my name's Mary. Today I'm going to talk about how science helped the world in the deadly fight against diseases. During the first two world wars, many soldiers died from infections rather than battle injuries during war. On top of that, many people suffered and died from various types of diseases. However, an antibiotic, which is a type of antimicrobial substance used to fight against bacterial infections, known as penicillin, helped to combat these problems that severely impacted the lives of people during that time. Now it's quite funny how penicillin was discovered. In 1928, Dr. Alexander Fleming returned from a holiday to find mold growing on a petri dish called Staphylococcus bacteria. He noticed that the mold seemed to be preventing the bacteria around it from growing. He soon identified that this mold produced a self-defensing chemical that could kill bacteria. The mold was identified as penicillium. Thus, after observing this life-changing detail that wildly used antibiotic, penicillin was invented. All right, the presentation is over. So what do you two think? Kea, Medea, did this presentation change your mind about science? I'd like to make another point on how science has been helping us even in the recent years. This presentation was very informative about how science was useful to us in the fight against diseases in the past and even today. Similarly, in the recent years during the COVID pandemic, many scientists and scholars worked hard day and night to find a vaccine for the virus that took many lives in the past two years. And finally, after hours of research, they had invented a vaccine for the coronavirus with the help of science. There are so many ways in how science has proved its theories, not only in biology, but we can delve into those topics later. Well, I never really knew that science was this important in our lives. Me neither. I can't believe we initially hated this wonderful subject. I'm very proud of each one of you for appreciating science as a subject. I'm very sure you will soon apply it in your daily life. Yes, Mr. Wilson, we promise. Me too.